Yeah, hi. Alrighty. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for your early morning, late out of the day, kind of. Very late, whatever the fuck. Very late nights. It's morning, ladies and gentlemen. Fuck, it's early morning. AEW Dynamite Review. People are saying that what a time to be a wrestling fan. You know, like, fuck you, oh my god, it's Wrestling Night War, guys. You know, it's the Wednesday Night War continues and shit. Fuck, well, it's gonna, it's gonna fucking sadly continue for, I think, a few fucking years. So I've been doing this shit for, like, a few fucking years. Who will survive? And then, for fuck's sakes, I'm just thinking to myself, like, you know, people say, well, time to be a wrestling fan. I was like, well, I'm wondering, so why is this happening? You know? Because, like, like there's too much fucking wrestling and unfortunately when there's too there's too there's like too much fucking wrestling that's not even good. It's not even good you fucking people and peak unfortunately Smart's gonna think like this is fucking you know the greatest of all time. This is the greatest fucking war in history or this is the greatest fucking thing with this NXT and AEW crap and ew, oh my god NXT is saving wrestling guys they're saving Raw and SmackDown while AEW is saving the wrestling world give me a fucking break you dumb motherfuckers all right I just want this world war to fucking end because I'm fucking tired of this shit it doesn't help the fact that he's a thing okay so I. I was late to try to watch this shit. First of all, I forgot this. This was a fucking thing. But then I realized, fuck. It's AEW and NXT. Because I, I was like on Facebook and like, fuck, oh. They're talking about AEW. Like the show was happening, blah, blah, blah. And then I was like, fucking damn it. I gotta watch that show tonight. Thankfully, I guess, the, you know, case okay, so I was on my way home and then the train fucking big delay. It was the biggest delay I ever fucking been in, like, for waiting for a stupid fucking train, and, like, I uh, just, like, <laughs> man, I'm telling you, I'm all fucked up. Like, if you have a fucking health problem, for fuck's sake, do not get in a fucking train, you dumb retards. You know, as much as, like, I try to be, like, a great person, <laughs> fuck it, you know, just hearing fucking people, like, fuck it all. I, uh, medical, per like, fucking, I'll beat that, I'll make sure there's gonna be a med medical accident, I'll fucking choke you to death. I'm just, <laughs> just kidding. You dumb motherfuckers, man. Straight the fuck up. So grab your soda wine glass. I'm gonna do this before I got. I gotta go fucking school later. Fuck, man. Rest of practice. And I'm gonna be fucking sore. That's why I'm fucking doing this video too, cause I'll be too sore to fucking, you know, I'm tired. Whoosh you, whoosh you. And I'm gonna have to take my fucking allergy medicine later. Man. Do for the people, for the motherfucking people. Alright, so, let's talk again. If I could be honest with you guys, you know what, just go fucking watch WJ's review. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be admitted, I'm gonna play a fucking clip. Just watch this fucking video, because for guys, he's probably gonna do it better than me. Not just because I'm fucking tired. And you know what, this idea of fucking watching this shit makes me fucking tired? For fuck's sakes, just try to look back on it. Like, fuck, like... It's like, what the fuck? Like, this is not wrestling. Okay? It's not just that it's not Like, for God's sake, it's not even cool wrestling. Like, all these fucking wrestlers are jobbers. Straight, straight up. They are. I'm not going. Alright, so let's fucking see this shit. The show kicks off with Pac. Pac versus Trent. Yeah, we got fucking that nigga Tupac, man. She or no, we got that fucking X Pac looking, uh, that X Pac ripping off an ass. We got fucking this motherfucker. Yeah, we got Pac, guys. He's bigger than Tupac and even X Pac himself, man. He's gonna make sure he's gonna suck that penis. <laughs> you know, instead of fucking, you know, fucking, you know, Pac, he's just really different to Poop. Tupac, he's not saying like, suck it, he's like, oh, suck it, yeah, baby, suck it, that fucking, you know, vanilla midget twink, he's like, suck it, yeah, I'm Pac, I'm opposite than Tupac, motherfucker, I'm gay as fuck, man, that's why I'm fucking rapping and shit, I'm gonna rap like Tupac, and I'm gonna be as, I'm gonna be as gayer than Tupac, you cool, man, not, no, 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 Tupac, gayer than Tupac, and fucking, that fucking ex pac motherfucking ass, I'm better than that motherfucker, yeah, cause I'm fucking a baby, man, she, yeah, so yeah, Pock, that fucking, you know, he sucked that pee-pee. Sucked that motherfucking penis. 
versus fucking Trent. Trent's who the fuck is Trent? Oh, he's best friend's Trent. That's so gay. Fun fact, like when I think of a, a guy named Trent, I think of fucking Power Rangers, fucking the White Ranger, Trent, fucking for was it Fernandez or Trent Mercer? He has different fucking names from Power Rangers down in there. Pretty fucking cool, fucking rat, a fucking guy named Power Ranger, along with fucking Tommy. For God's sake, this is this name makes this fucking a guy like this makes me fucking ruin like a fucking idea. Like, cause I actually have a um, fun fact. Yes, I hate my fucking name, Zubair. I always want to be known as Trent, but you know, fuck it. No, fuck this. I'll just leave Lex Luthor being known as Trent and fucking this fucking dude's compete the fucking name. Because for God's sakes, great, you ruin Yeah, This is like one of the worst fucking wrestlers to have named Trent in it. You know what I mean? Pac defeated Trent, motherfuckers. No one fucking cares. Um. Then, okay. Here's what I want to fucking talk about. So the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes says if he loses to Chris Jericho at full gear, he won't be able to fucking challenge for the AEW World title again, guys. So he's trying to fucking add an interest to the fucking match, even though this is like the first time match. Uh, not not first, but you know, whatever. Fucking, this is Jericho's first or second, whatever the fuck, title defense. I don't, first title defense event's really on a pay-per-view. And this is fucking Cody Rhodes' first shot, and if he loses, he won't challenge for it again. So already right there, you kind of already know he's going to probably fucking win. He's already trying to try to push himself. Just like Jeff Jarrett did back in TNA. So. And if anything, but the thing is, let's be fucking honest. Jeff Jarrett back then had character. This motherfucker, what the fuck is he? Uh, he's American Nightmare. He's the, he's the opposite from his father. And then he's like, he's trying to, and the people are saying that this is the best promo of, of years. Are you fucking people retarded for fuck's sake? I tried watching this fucking promo by the way online. They actually released the promo and I just couldn't watch it. I was just like, what the fuck is this? Like, I'm bored of tears. I tried watching this shit. It's not just I'm bored of tears. Like, why this fucking faggot is cutting this stupid pseudo fucking epic promo? He's trying to fucking be all fucking, you know, emotional and shit. Like, I don't give a fuck. You fucking suck. You're garbage. You know what I mean? Like, I don't give a fuck for Cody Rhodes. Fuck Cody Rhodes. Don't look and end this video because I'm not fucking the right smart busters or fucking smart busters in general. I'm not ending this video yet. Okay. But yeah, fuck Cody Rhodes for fuck's sake. This guy fucking sucks. This guy has always been a fucking irrelevant fucking jobber. This guy never amounted to any fucking every, anything in his, own, his fucking life. Oh, he's Dusty Rhodes' son. Who fucking cares? The guy shouldn't have fucking had his fucking sperm wasted to create this fucking show. Because it's the fact that this motherfucker exists is a fucking joke. Because this guy fucking sucks. Has no fucking amount of fucking charisma at all from his father. No actual fucking goddamn like fucking, you know, actual fucking good shit from, from Dusty from Dusty Rhodes. Dusty Rhodes had character. Dusty Rhodes can actually fucking talk and cut good promos. Dusty Rhodes, despite the motherfucking size he has, he was actually fucking good as a big fucking wrestler. He was entertaining. This motherfucker couldn't even fucking have the ounce of fucking entertainment that his father had that he ever fucking dream of. He's a fucking dream of his own fucking dream fucking father. Alright, motherfuckers? Straight the fuck up. So fuck Cody Rhodes. This motherfucking chode sucks. You can fucking take that fucking MJF fucking scarf the hit of his buddy, scarf it down his fucking goddamn mouth, and choke himself! Or hang himself with it! Like a hangman page, yeah, you can fucking go, go hang him, and page can fucking hang himself with a fucking scarf too, because they all fucking suck. They're all a bunch of fucking donkey fucking wien wiener fucking sucking ass motherfucking cocks, you know what I mean? They're fucking jobbers, holy fuck, they're garbage. Let me fucking have the legend talk about this shit. But watch his fucking review, because I'm fucking tired. I don't have time to fucking talk about this shit. Let's fucking watch a video about truth. Corny Rhodes, ladies and gentlemen, he had a big announcement there. Basically, he was creaming in his pants about himself for like 20 minutes. You know what I mean? Um, apparently, if he doesn't beat Jericho, he'll never challenge for the belt again 
you know, is it a guarantee he's going to win because of this there? Does it matter? Not to me, ladies and gentlemen. Couldn't <laughs> give a fuck less about that plastic championship belt or whatever. I'm telling you, this fucking re review is already entertained in any AEW show, I'm telling you. It's actually fucking funny. This guy is actually fucking entertaining. But um, basically, he was More just than working out for himself. Mm-hmm, that's right. For 15, 20 minutes. Oh, yeah. My dad. Yeah. My dad got... It's exactly. Um, just lame stuff, you know? Just patting himself on the back. Myself, Hangman Page, Kenny Omega, the Young Bucks, <laughs> and then all the fans... <laughs> It's like, holy fuck, what's wrong with these people? Exactly. They really want to throw up, really. Just so cornball, so lame and cheap and cheesy and fucking gay, man. Like, holy fuck, <laughs> give it up, man. Cody, so lame. Let me name you a couple names. And he, he names a couple of old wrestlers from the past. I don't remember who he was saying there. Chances are I don't even remember who they are. Larry Zabisco. Oh, yeah, I, 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 yeah, I know I know Larry Zabisco. Oh, uh, he's a great, great wrestler, even though no one, like, fucking people, sparks would pretend who they know about Larry Zabisco. I know about Tully Branchard. I'm a real wrestling fan, even though, like, I probably never even watched that shit. <laughs> Yeah, we watched the WrestleMania like, 29. It's fucking pointless there. This is for my mother. Chris Jericho, you're just a succubus. You're a succubus, Chris. Right. It's like, give me a fucking break. And then he's pretty much jacking off to himself for yeah. the whole promo about how amazing him and his friends are and the indie fans just there just sucking his fucking mid-card dick yeah, that's like right. there's no tomorrow it's just just comes off too corny and lame this whole thing is just too much it's too much for fuck's sakes man and then you have like a, a boring women's tag match rio uh the 90 pound you know uh, okay it's the thing out it's the thing out motherfucker okay it's yeah, I'm back. You know, I could have just like WJ just did that re fucking review, but you could just watch it yourself. Again, watch this video in the description. But that just, this, that just fucking, that sort of, you know, just that sort of bit about WJ just talking about Cody Rhodes. It's just spout on. Spout on, motherfucker. Genius. And it's the truth. And uh, the diva shit happened, and I don't give a fuck. I don't give a shit. Let's fucking see what happened. What the fuck? Okay. I'm oh, sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Well, I don't know, something. I uh, don't oh, know. That, uh, apparently, that's not an order. Who cares? Uh, private party. Yeah, these fucking gay motherfucking looking ass. These gay motherfuckers. Seriously, whoa, whoa, whoa. One of them fuck. You know, it's not just one of them. Fucking both of them legit look gay, but one of them does look gayer. Like, a guy in gold, he fucking have, like, a stupid cut in his hair. It's a stupid haircut. Fucking, he looks like he does take it up the fucking ass, straight up. Private Party defeats the Dark, the dark Order. Is that really their fucking name, the Dark Order? You're trying to be, like, fucking Star Wars and shit? What the fuck, you fucking dumbasses, man. And they're gonna fucking have an NXT, not NXT, AEW fucking tag title match. Like, I wanna fucking see that shit. Who cares? Just Jericho gets a fucking video package praising him as the youngest AEW fucking champion in history. The legend Soul Train Jones, ladies and gentlemen. Fucking says Jericho talent is like all garden bread six, unlimited. That would be funny if that's literally fucking like the fucking sponsors of the show. So Virgil is fucking goddamn doing a fucking product placement for God's sakes. Okay, that's actually pretty funny. That's pretty funny. <laughs> pretty funny, guys. Ima Imi Sakara and Jamie Hater defeats Raiho and Shayna. Who the fuck is Imi Sakara? 
Or, first of all, oh my god, these bitches are disgusting, aren't they? Bunch of fucking, you know, a lot of hentai fucking pedo. A lot of pedo loving fucking hentai anime girls and shit, you know? And fucking. What the fuck? This is gonna attract the fucking pedos of hentai. Of, of fucking hentai fucking anime fucking bullshit, you know? And apparently. The Emmy bitch is gonna face Riho for the fucking women's title on a pay-per-view! No one knows the fuck these bitches are, you know? <laughs> and this is for a women's title match of a fucking American show and nobody they can't even fucking speak English, you know? No one knows the fuck these guys are. There's like no character, no story at all. You know, also that's the fucking thing. Fuck up the legit best story in fucking women's last and was fucking when Barbara Bush kept getting undressed, getting her fucking, and her tits were ke kept getting shown, fucking the cat couldn't fucking, you know, it wants to be better than China, freaking also fucking, Ivory wants to keep her fucking title, and Jacqueline is the most like, disgusting fucking black bitch ever, and they fucking had the fucking, probably the best women's match in history in a fucking pool. At Armageddon 1999. That is literally the best fucking women's match in history. And it told a story, guys. It was. It was legit. It brought tears to my eyes. That was great. Then this fucking Cody promo. Awesome Kong is returning, guys. Like, I give a fuck. Like, I want to see fucking Awesome Kong. Yeah, like, I want to see that shit. Like, I, we got the fucking giant bitch from African color con. Oh, you see some Japan? You guys you see some shit? I don't give a fuck. She go back to Japan and fucking choke herself. I'm just kidding, but for God's sake, who cares? <laughs> you know? Sean Spears defeats Brandon Coulter. Aftermath Spears kept attacking Coulter and then the. the ba I'm a bad boy, guys. I'm bad. I'm a bad boy. I'm gonna suck that dick hard, guys. Because I'm a bad boy. Joy Janella saves. I got you. And then the main event, right? Is it the main event or something? Please tell me this show. Okay, the main event, Jericho and Sammy Calvera, guys. Defeat Kenny Omega and Hangman Page. I don't give a fuck. I'm sorry. As much as I love fucking Cody Rhodes. Then fucking Aftermath Elite. Meet Inner Circle, AMJF and John Moxley. And like they all have like a brawl in the end. My problem with this is again, like, I don't give a fuck about these wrestlers. They're trying to make a pursuit of Epic, even though, don't get me fucking wrong. It's like, it's kind of cool. Okay, I liked it when, okay, so they were having Jericho involved. I will give it this, like, it was like, it's better than, like, let's say, ending in a stupid gay fashion. John Moxley, Dean Ayers, whatever the fuck, you know, they had their, he had his, his brawl with fucking, you know, Kenny Omega. And then fucking, you know, with the stupid fucking inner circle guys, it was kind of helping. So kind of like Moxley's like the anti, you know, hero kind of fucking dude. It's alright. Um, Jericho, you know, being good heel and shit, doing some cool shit. But the thing is, like, you know, you got these other fucking jobbers for us, like, fighting each other. Like, it's not really that fucking epic, you know? In reality, it's no real difference than the fucking brawl with the fucking... With the Raw from Raw this week. Yeah, it, you know, think about it. This was kind of like a ripoff, don't you guys think? It was kind of like a ripoff from Raw and NXT this past Monday Night Raw. It was kind of bit. If you think about it, it could have been a little rip-off-ish, rip you know? Just a big brawl to end the show. If you think about it. But it just was better. Uh, like, I'll probably say, it, yeah, you know what? Fuck it. I'll give AEW this. They probably did a better brawl. Yeah, because, like... I felt like, you know, for God's sakes, I'm not a big fan of fucking, you know, all these jobbers from fucking Raw and NXT. But for God's sakes, you know, and you had Jericho at least. You had J Ambrose. That's like, that's really it. Jack Swagger was brawling MJF. Fucking, apparently, Cody, I don't know. I, again, I didn't give a fuck to really care. It's okay. Yeah, they end with a fucking giant flip. And then, oh, we're fighting still. And then, okay. The thing is, this like the fact, like the thing is, when you compare this to a lot of brawls in the past, where like a lot of, let's say this, fucking, fucking TNA had a better fucking brawl than this. Like when fucking they kept fighting, right? Fucking, you know, the whole backstage brawls and shit, you know, I think back in 2009, 
when everybody was brawling, fucking in the ring, outside the ring, fucking the fucking backstage, the fucking parking lot. When you rem- if you remember that shit from TNA, they have it on their fucking channel. That is one of the best things TNA has done, and that was like more epic, you know. I'm sorry, and this was literally fucking I fuck the next TNA shit, man. But whatever, ladies and gentlemen, that's really all I have to fucking say about fucking AEW. Just to fucking get this over with. But, you know, that's AEW for you, alright? Just fucking show. Just fucking bunch of jobbers. Fucking, you know, trying to fucking be epic with their stupid fucking feud. Trying to do epic shit. Yet, yeah, it's just, it's jobbers. When you put race epic stuff with, like, awesome wrestlers. Like, back in the day, when you had, like, big brawls with wrestlers. You know? Like, fighting each other all over the place, you know? It's been a while we've seen fucking... I can't even remember, like, a recent memory of a fucking... Of, like... Lots of wrestlers, actually being cool wrestlers, fighting in the ring. Okay, maybe you could say the fucking stupid fucking Survivor Series bullshit, I think, back in 2017, I believe. Like, around that shit. But the thing is, like, I, again, they're still jo- Like, I don't even give a fuck. About- like, no, fuck that. No, don't give me that shit. No, no, no. Actual fucking good shit, you know? It's been a while. It's really been a while, you know? We've seen... You know what? Fucking... You can say, you know what, Survivor Series 2005, Survivor Series 2005, when the all actual fucking great wrestlers, you know, actual fucking great wrestlers, Raw and SmackDown, fighting in the ring, and then outside the ring, and then in the back parking lot, that's an example of fucking good wrestling, with actual stars, with character, and fucking there was stories, and build up and shit, that's a good example. Not this fucking you just to go over the way, you know, and then fucking all these jobbers wrestling and fucking fighting. Like, come on. Like, I don't give a fuck. This, these jobbers are, don't give a fuck, man. I don't give a shit. Uh, but anyways, that's what I'm done. I'm saying. Just keep it real, motherfucker. Got to get muscles. Got to be AF. Got to be plucked. Catch a fucking bitch, motherfucker. Catch a drink. So on one glass of magnificent. I cheese, motherfuckers. That's what I'm going to say. I actually did this review before I review NXT. I would normally review NXT first, but I want to get this shit over it because I want, I just that idea of Cody Rose's stupid ass promo was irritating, uh, irritating me, and fucking you know just people just saying that shit and just like goddamn like bunch of stupid fucking queer and jobbers. You know what I mean? That's what they are. So that's all I have to really say. I will do my NXT review after this, and that will probably re- upload it after. I don't know. Whatever fucking re- review uploads first. All right, motherfuckers? Watch those reviews. All right, that's what I'm going to say. WJ Rules, motherfuckers. He is right. And, yeah, fuck everything. Until next time. Peace. Yeah, bye. Watch the review, motherfuckers, because he's shit, man.